lost its Snoop Dogg after controversial Trump video. Snoop Dogg is in the public's eye recently, ever since he released the controversial video where he murders a clown dressed as President Donald Trump. Talk show host Steve Harvey had some words on this, calling Snoop Dogg a hypocrite. Harvey was immediately shocked by his video. In one of his shows, he said, Here is the problem. If something happens, do you get brought in as the copycat version, the reason that spurred action? Cuz there is some idiot that is sitting at his house that is willing to carry this out. And you do not want to be tied to that. He added that, the problem with this is that there is an office in this country called the president, and you have to respect the office. You really do. Whether you want to or not. You have to respect the office. They got laws. I would hate for anything to come down. Harvey's words come as a reaction to Snoop Dogg's last statement where he explained the background of his video. He said, the band that this mother far tried to put up, him winning the presidency, police being able to kill mother fess and get away with it, people being in jail for weed for 20, 30 years and mother fess that's not black on the streets making money off it, but if you got color or ethnicity connected to your name, you've been wrongfully accused or locked up for it. And then you watching people, not of color position themselves to get millions and billions off it. It's a lot of clown shit going on. That we could just sit and talk on the phone all day about, but it is a few issues that we really wanted to lock into, like police, the president and just life in general. When I be putting shit out, I do not ever expect or look for a reaction. Snoop Dogg said of the video, directed by YouTube star Jesse Wellens. I just put it out because I feel like it is something that's missing. Anytime I drop something, I'm trying to fill in a void. I feel like it's a lot of people making cool records, having fun, partying, but nobody's dealing with the real issue with this FG clown as president, and the shit that we dealing with out here, so I wanted to take time out to push pause on a party record and make one of these records for the time being. Looks like the liberal belief system contaminated the show business to the fullest. What do you think of this? Share your th Seconds ago. Thray Gowdy with an immediate order to a judge regarding a Hillary Clinton case. An unprecedented event occurred these days when a U.S. congressman asked for a body to be dug out in order to complete an investigation by a House Intelligence Committee. Judge Marmon Watson agreed on this and let the body of Vince Foster for an autopsy by a work crew in Fairfax, Virginia. This came right after the intelligence services found evidence for a case where a killed reported had an If Anything Ever Happens to Me letter delivered to his publication that included Hillary Clinton in an old crime. This happened right after Foster committed a suicide. His body was removed from the ground and is now heading to the Naval Hospital in Norfolk to get an autopsy for the suspicious death. Any information about this case is kept secret by Gowdy and all other federal prosecutors due to the sensitivity of the subject. One thing is sure. If Hillary Clinton gets somehow connected with this, tough times await for her. What do you think of this? Share your opinion. 64 Breaking Democrats went mad after Devin Nunes exposed the truth to the American people. The Democrats are pretty angry at House Intel Chairman Devin Nunes for exposing the truth to the American people. This Wednesday Nunes made a statement in which he confirmed that Trump's team was involved in intelligence surveillance and a lot of data about them has been connected after the election. Trump later stated that he felt somewhat vindicated by Nunes' comments. The Democrats, of course running away from the truth, instantly blamed Nunes that he took the surveillance information directly to the public instead of discussing the matter with Obama's operatives in the FBI. Donald Trump was right all along that he and his people were wiretapped. He made a mistake by leaving Jim Comey as the director of FBI. The FBI are known to find anything under any circumstances, but yet, they cannot find who leaked all the information about Trump's people. It looks like, Barack Obama somehow got the FBI in his pocket and is acting as the shadow president of the United States, while discrediting Trump's work. It is now up to Trump to cleanse our government and intelligence agencies so he can finally begin to fulfill what he promised during the campaign.
The Washington Examiner reported, Democrats on Wednesday were angry with House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes, R. California, for telling the press that Obama administration intelligence officials appear to have unmasked several Trump transition officials who were swept up in routine surveillance. Nunes told reporters Wednesday that the new information he has bothers him because it seems to show that officials revealed the identities of U.S. citizens caught up in routine surveillance of foreigners when they should have remained masked. Nunes told the reporters at the White House the day when he had a meeting with President Trump. What I have read bothers me and I think it should bother the president himself and his team because I think some of it seems to be inappropriate. But Democrats pounced and complained that Nunes should not have publicized that information before sharing it with the full committee. If accurate, this information should have been shared with members of the committee, but it has not been. Said Rep. Adam Schiff, D. California, the top Democrat on Nunes' committee. Indeed. It appears that committee members only learned about this when the chairman discussed the matter this afternoon with the press. Schiff said he has already expressed my grave concerns with his decision to release the information. Nunes said he felt Trump and his team should know that his staff and perhaps Trump himself were unasked when they should not have been since the former Obama administration already apparently knew. Zach Betkin is, a senior advisor at the Democratic National Committee called Noon's public statement a pathetic charade. Former Trump transition member Devin Noon's blew what little credibility he had left with this pathetic charade. This is not an investigation, it is a protection racket for Donald Trump and his fragile ego. What do you think of this? Share your opinion. Reveal Trump just gave the welfare leeches terrible news. Details Barack Obama is known as a president that allowed millions of lazy non-working people to live on our welfare which is paid by our hard-working taxpayers. One of Donald Trump's campaign promises was that he would stop this madness and return things in normal, before he took office Trump said, President Obama has almost doubled our national debt to more than $19 trillion and growing. Yet what do we have to show for it? Our roads and bridges are falling apart. Our airports are in third world condition, and 43 million Americans are on food stamps. According to Conservative Tribune, Donald Trump is about to make major changes to the food stamps program by restricting certain convicted criminals and winners of large lottery prizes from participating in it. The Department of Agriculture recently published a series of proposed rules that would enforce laws passed by Congress nearly three years ago. The last farm bill that authorized federal spending for the welfare program and prohibited both serious felons and substantial lottery winners from receiving benefits under the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program was signed on February 7, 2014. President Donald Trump also plans to make sure that our system is in good shape so it can handle with the immigrants and the income of anyone who applies for food stamps. What do you think of this? Share your opinion. Game Changer Obama is done. The NSA released the evidence Trump was looking for. Donald Trump told the truth when he said that Obama wired up Trump Tower during the presidential election. There is now clear evidence to prove this. Fox News reported, congressional investigators expect that a potential smoking gun from the NSA establishing that the Obama administration spied on the Trump transition team and possibly the president-elect himself will be produced to the House Intelligence Committee as early as tomorrow. Yesterday committee chairman, Devin Nunes, R. California said intelligence came from multiple sources during a span of several weeks. He has not shared the actual materials with his committee colleagues and will be the only member of the panel in a position to know whether the NSA has turned over some or all of the intelligence he is citing. As expected. The FBI refuses to cooperate with the House Intelligence Committee's request for documents to release the evidence. Comey is going to handle a tough period and he is going to answer some good questions for this. It is clear that President Donald Trump was wiretapped and Americans will find out the truth. What do you think of this? Share your opinion. Wow! Oh my God! The one thing Trump did with American truckers amazed everyone. We all know that our truckers are one of the hardest workers we have in our country. 
it is very hard to leave your family when you go to earn money for them. President Trump feels their struggle so he made them a big honor yesterday. He went to speak with them and CEOs to thank them for everything they do. He said, no one knows America like truckers know America. Trump then made a surprising move, by jumping into the driver's seat of an 18-wheeler. This clearly shows what kind of president we have. Thank God we elected a president like him. One who respect all the hard-working people. Dot at POTUS to truckers, America depends on you and you work very hard for America. Pick.twitter.com slash M30J LZQGF, Fox News, at Fox News, March 23, 2017. What do you think of this? Share your opinion. Unthinkable. After everything they done to take him down Donald Trump returns more powerful than ever. It's a game over for the liberals. President Donald Trump has been under constant attacks from the liberal media ever since he was elected as President of the United States. The mainstream media painted an objective on his hand when they thought he was going to win and was sticking with the forgotten Americans unlike the corrupt elite in Washington D.C. and New York. When this occurred they have done everything they can to bring him down as president. There is no doubt that the media is an important part of our democracy but not any kind of media. They need to remember that they create the public opinion and they should not abuse that. Looks like now the elites in our society are panicking because The Hill revealed some pretty interesting facts. A majority of Americans believe news organizations are too critical of President Trump, according to a Wall Street Journal. NBC News poll released Sunday. 51% of Americans said the media is too critical of Trump, while 41% think news organizations have been fair and objective. The poll also found that Americans are becoming more optimistic about where the country is headed, with 40% saying it is headed in the right direction. In December, 33% felt that way, compared to 18% in July. This clearly shows that no matter what they do, President Trump has our support. In the war where they wanted to make Donald Trump look like the villain, they obviously lost. What do you think of this? Share your